Hello Divine Souls, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. So let's get the collective energy for this Twin Flame reading today. So I'm going to start off by pulling some Romance Angels. And then I'm going to clarify with the Higher Self Oracle. What are the messages for this reading today, Holy Spirit? Your first card is Release Your Ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So you have released an ex. On this card, you have a woman that's sitting down and she has her arm up on her forehead and she also has a letter in her hand. As if to say, I am tired, I am done. I feel like you were carrying this person for some of you because they weren't pulling their weight. This relationship became a hassle and it was always one thing after another. You also have a moon in the background. This person was hiding things from you as well. As far as this letter is concerned, some of you could have sent this person a text message, an email, or even an actual letter letting them know that you are done. But it was time for you to let go and clear your energy. Some of you could have also been married to this person. This could be divorce papers as well. But you were mentally, emotionally, and physically exhausted. There's also some angel wings behind this woman. And this is telling me that spirit was always with you. I also feel like you were consulting with spirit on what to do about the situation because it was burdening. You were asking spirit if this is meant to be, let it work out. And if not to remove you from this situation. And that's why this is your first card, release your ex because you have cleared your energy. Your next card is retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So yeah, you have gone MIA, you're moving in silence, you have not spoken to this person, you have not reached out, and you guys went straight into hermit mode after this breakup. There's also a couple on this card that has on wedding attire. So there was something about a marriage or a wedding, but you guys have totally disconnected from this person. And some of you also went on a spiritual retreat. Your next card is separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So yeah, you guys are not together, but I feel like someone is having sleepless nights. You have a woman in the bed that's tossing and turning. And there's also a man holding her hand, trying to drag her off the bed. Or at least that's what it looks like to me. This person didn't want to break up and they are hating the fact that you guys are separated right now. With this person trying to pull you off the bed, I feel like you're having crazy dreams about this person. And I feel like they were trying to pull you down. But you also have angels in the air here. And your angels was trying to tell you that this person was toxic. They were trying to warn you against this person. Because I feel like they were trying to steer you wrong. You also have a Bible on the ledge of this window. You guys were very conflicted when it came to this person. It's like you knew they were toxic, but you were trying to help them at the same time. But you realized that they were only bringing you down. It's like you had to make a head over heart decision. Your next card is forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So this is another card on release. And this is falling up under release your ex. So this was a learning lesson for you. There's something that you had to learn. And it's also saying for you to forgive this person as well. Just because you forgive someone does not mean you're condoning what they did. Forgiveness is all about giving yourself closure, even if the other person hasn't given you closure. So you have released the past and you are healing. I also feel like this person is wanting your forgiveness and they also had to go through some kind of lesson here. Yeah, your next card is calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So I'm seeing this card two ways. You could be calling in someone new because you're tired of the bullshit with this person and you're just wanting a clean slate overall. And I feel like this person is calling you back into their life. But I'm really feeling like this is a new energy. And if you have been praying to spirit about a new person coming into your life, it's going to happen. And the last card is true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So right off the bat, this is a soulmate connection. That's why you had calling in your soulmate. This was a spiritual union. That's why it was hard for you to let this person go. But it's saying both of you were each other's true love. This person still thinks about you a lot. 
And I feel like they can't forgive themselves for what they did to you. And that's why they're trying to manifest you back through prayers and affirmations because they're realizing that you're their true love. So that's why this relationship hurt you to your core because you were in love with them. All right, let's get some clarifiers with the higher self oracle. Clarify, release your ex. You have on the right path. So spirit is letting you know that when you release this person, this elevated you and brought you back on the right path. Clarify, retreat. You have clear your energy. So this is the second time clear your energy is coming out. That's what the release your ex card says. The time has come to clear your energy. This person was very toxic and they weighed you down. The last couple of readings I have been mentioning that you guys were feeling tired and you were feeling drained. And this is the confirmation. As a matter of fact, since this is repeating itself, I'm going to read from the book. Let's see what spirit is wanting you to know about clearing your energy. Your higher self is reaching out to you with this card to remind you that clearing your mind, body, and soul will help lighten your spirit. As empathic beings, it is natural to pick up the energy of others, including their anger, sadness, anxiety, frustration, fears, and disappointments. Some empaths simply feel the energy of others and some absorb and carry the energy with them, unaware that it's going to affect their personal emotions. It is important to sever this energy since it does not belong to you and can affect your mental and emotional well-being. And that's what I said. This person drained you mentally, emotionally, and physically. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, they drove you crazy for sure. And with this man trying to pull you off the bed on the separation card... This person is still trying to hold on to your energy. So if you guys have been feeling drained, you're needing to do a cleansing to get this bad energy off of you. And this bad energy can be coming from anywhere, not just this person. Empaths pick up on a lot of different energy. That's why sometimes I don't do readings for like three days straight. Yeah, I have to clear my energy with these readings. Clarify separation. You have transformation. You guys are on a spiritual transformation. And that's why you had the card that says on the right path. This was a very bad ending. This person was very underhanded and deceptive. With clear your energy and transformation, this is also letting me know that you guys have shed a lot. Some of you aren't drinking anymore. You're not smoking anymore. You're celibate. You don't have the same friends like you used to or you're distancing yourself. But you have cleared your energy. And I'm also picking up someone is on a health journey. You have lost weight. You're exercising more. You're eating right. But I'm picking up weight loss. Someone here could have also gotten a mommy makeover or some kind of beauty enhancement surgery. But you're feeling better about yourself collective and you're in a positive state of mind. Clarify forgiving and learning. You have boundaries. So yeah, they did not respect your boundaries. And I have to read a little bit of this book definition because I feel like this is your energy collective. It says, love yourself enough to set boundaries. Your time and energy are precious. You get to choose how to use it. You teach people how to treat you by deciding what you will and won't accept. And this is the energy that I'm picking up on, especially with the transformation card. You taught this person how to treat you. That's why your first card was release your ex. And they did not see this coming. This person was very grimy. And they were used to treating people like shit. But you taught them how to treat you by walking away. What's calling in your soulmate? You have love. And this is what you're looking for collective. You're looking for true love. You're looking for a true soulmate. And this is what you're praying about. It says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So you have a new soulmate coming in and it's because for a lot of you, you have already been through this major transformation and you're ready to open up yourself to new love. Let's clarify the last card, true love. You have intuition. So your intuition is your higher self. You're starting to listen to your intuition and you're making better choices. But I also feel like your intuition told you that this person was bad news, but you didn't listen. There were a lot of signs and synchronicities that your angels were trying to show you 
and you ignored them. And I feel like this was a part of your lesson. But I feel like collective through this whole ordeal, you have learned a lot. You have forgiving and learning. Even though this was a very difficult journey, you have transformed beautifully. Trust in the timing that the universe has set out for you. Things may seem bleak and stagnant right now, but you will reach your desired goal and your destination once all the necessary pieces fall into place because you're on the right path. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it here. These are your messages for this reading. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if this message has helped you, please share it as well. Also, make sure you're subscribed to my channel so when I upload new content, you'll be notified. Have an awesome day. Love and light always.